Hello again. It's me, Omar, coming back to you. Hello again. Uh, I know a lot of you sometimes you don't feel that comfortable drawing and you don't like exactly what's coming out of your hands or you know maybe you haven't taken a lot of drawing classes and you're at full sale and it's kind of hard to catch up on your drawing skill set so you like to use a photo reference while you're in Photoshop or Illustrator. I'm going to go over a workflow in doing so but you also have to remember to be careful. when. I'm sketching or I'm drawing, I'm using a photo that I took, I have the rights to this photo, I am the creator of this photo. Um, whenever you draw from a photo and you bring that image into Photoshop or into Illustrator and kind of trace over it, just know that you need permission from the photographer um, and you need to get a rights to be able to do so. Uh, just remember what happened to a Shepherd Fairy with the Obama posters, got in a lot of trouble for that. So take that in consideration. When I do that or when I do this, I normally or traditionally I'll use a photo that I've taken for this process. So here's a photo of a uh, Hugo, one of the great of course directors at the Full Sail Campus that I took. Um, he's like 70 pounds lighter now, so he hates this photo, but I just think he looks like a pimp here, so I really enjoy the photo. Um, it's a color photo, and I think it'd be pretty cool to do a hero portrait of my friend Hugo over here. Now. When doing this or using this photo, um, it's good to get a reference to understand the values. Sometimes people are like, they end up just doing a line work and not understanding where the contrast really comes from or how to break this up. So to help you uh, in doing that, what I would recommend is that you, um, you know, first I mask them out because I don't want this background. So I just have the mask. I cut this mask in Photoshop um, right over here. Uh, earlier so I just mask them out. Second thing I want to do is I would uh, create a new layer or make an adjustment layer, go to hue and saturation and take all the color out. Probably give them some contrast so I'm gonna bump in my blacks, bring my whites in, All right, that's cool. So that's a good starting point. Um, another tool that might help me um, to understand where I should start making my lines is the posterize tool. So I can go over here and I could uh, do an adjustment layer and posterize it. And now it has different levels of posterization. You could have it so like here's, if it's a one color, two color, six color. Um, this is a four color relationship illustration you're doing, but I would give yourself more choices than just four because sometimes that kind of bulks it up. So I like to bump this up to five or six colors so that way you can get a feel for where it's creating the lines. And then after I do that, um, I normally would bring this Photoshop file into Illustrator and then work off of that to kind of get a feel for what I want to do with the grayscale. So i do a file, save as, I'm just going to save this as um, Hugo HP. I'm going to hit OK, save it, hit OK, close that up. I'm going to go into Illustrator. Um, I'm going to place this, it's going to be Command Shift P. Once I hit that, I'm going to select my grayscale of Hugo. I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to drag this out here. Size it up to where I want it. I'm going to make a layer. Pull the artwork to the layer and pull that to the back and lock that layer up. Then I'm going to make sure that I have the top layer um, in order to start doing my line work. And then once I get this in here, I'll just start drawing away or start to get a feel for my shape. Um, you know, by all means, you can use the pen tool and start getting your shape in here.
You just start penciling away, have some fun with it. First thing I should do again, just like I did in the last one, um, marquee tool it up. Make sure that you're choosing the right colors. So again, that's going to be my black. Then I'm going to go over here and go to... Go to gray. And then go down here and go to lighter gray. Make sure that there's some separation here and go to white. Select my four colors and make a group out of it. So I'm always selecting from the right ones here. Um, and here, I mean, I'm going to go back and forth from a couple of different styles. Um, here, I was using the pencil really quick. Um, again, I, I really like using the pencil tool. It's something that's quick and fast that I enjoy. Um, Just come in here and kind of have some fun with the shapes. You know, here I've been creating shapes, but then right over here I could just do a line in here. Uh, make that my stroke, bump it up, go to uniform. Just same thing here, bump that up. So you just kind of pick between the two workflows as you're working. And then click this on and off so you kind of see what's going on or how's it feeling in here. Um, And you can see there's there's some nice lines. There's you know there's some harder lines over here. Um, you know whatever style best suits your drawing or what you're going after, I would just go after it that way. Um, but having this image in here is really good for me to understand the values and what I should be doing. Um, for the artwork. So if you don't feel comfortable, by all means, you can work by using an image. Just make sure that, one, I would try to make sure that you that the image is yours. Um, if it's not your image and you're using an image off of Google search or off the web, um, just know that you're using the image for practice and it's for a project. Um, if it was a for in the professional world or for a client, uh, there'd be a lot of gray in using that image, and you'd have to get permission for that. But if you have a photo you really like over here and you want to use it um, for this project, um, you know, I think you got the green lights to use it. Just know it's practice, and that you won't be. It's not really a portfolio piece or something that you would be trying to make money off of. But uh, go in there, get the values. and have some fun with it.
at the end of the day, having the grayscale image really allows you to understand where you should be using those values. And having it posterized allows you to see the shapes in there. Now, once you get into Illustrator, you can be as creative as you want. You can decide what shapes you want to use, what shapes you don't want to use, um, what you can use to be suggestive, not suggestive. Um, so as you're working, or if you're going to be using an image like this and drawing over it, always zoom out, reflect on it, look on it, um, turn the, the image on and off, and see what you need and what you don't need. Have some fun with it, enjoy yourself, and make something beautiful.